What's good? It's your boy Sheen. What's game? And we are jumping back into Arcane Man. This series was a great one for us. We really enjoyed it. Watched it uh, sometime la last year, I believe. So finally getting to jump back into it. Really was waiting for this one. So um, can't wait to jump in. Make sure you guys head over to the Patreon. Check the Patreon out. We have tons of content over there. We have exclusives that aren't coming to YouTube. And we're weeks ahead in content over there. So if you guys want all those perks for uncut reactions, head over to the Patreon and sub up. We'll also drop the link for a merch shop. So if you want to grab some merch, head over to dkd.shop. It will be in the description down below. And we'll also drop the link to our Discord for you guys to chat it up about anything we've watched so far on our channel or on our Patreon. So without further ado, Let's jump back into Arcane. Let's get it. This man is alive. He saved my Moderna. I think that's her name. See the rocket right there? Yeah. Oh. His mom was there too. Nah, that was Kate. That's Caitlyn's mom. Oh, yeah. Started a war. It's over. Boy Victor. No way he about to was trying to get him my yeah. That shit about to merge with him. You don't know what that's about to do to him now. Yeah, he he's to save him. Oh. That should probably merge with his whole body and is about to control him. Jinxed it, Everybody said we can't call her powder no more. That's cool. Nah, no cat. Great technology. If y'all Caitlyn, y'all trying to kill Jinx now? Or what? Yeah, this last episode, they was all together. You see, that's when she was tweaking out and killed Silco. But nah, she is about to become a counselor now. I don't know how we'll face this crisis without her. Damn, what's no fucking top? We're charged with imposing order. And we've been asleep at our posts. Oh boy, paralyzed. There will be no more fairy tales of peace until we scour our basement of its demons. As we are at war, I thought it prudent to solicit the advice of such an experienced veteran. We flood the Undercity with enforcers, armed with Hextech. How many more counselors have to be blown to pieces before you finally wake up? We are under siege! Officer Kiriman witnessed the attack firsthand. She confirmed this was the act of a single deranged individual. Jinx. They're gonna follow Jinx, though. I don't think so, because that one girl... I think they might follow that girl that got her arm chopped blown off. Jinx has proven elusive. Our healing can only begin once she's been brought to justice. That's facts. Then it's settled. Two to one. We invade. Where did Jay sat? It's imperative you present a unified front to the public, whatever your personal feelings. Come on. She, no, I was about to say, now. yeah, she is, because she know, like, the war and shit. But I draw the line at Hextech. We have an ethos. Such force must be a final resort. If they use a Hextech, they're going to blow up the whole Undercity. Then it's settled. Two to one. Damn, a well, place they once felt the safest at, they can't even feel safe there no more. Not with Jinx around. She's a demon. I had the shot. Whatever happened, happened now. We can't worry about that. Yeah, she gonna blame herself always for that, though. Your mother left this to you. The Kiriman Key? No, I'm not. I don't deserve it. It's your legacy now, Caitlin. What is she still doing here? Damn, the effects they got on this show with the facial expressions and shit, they did a very Yeah, good the job. animations you know is crazy. Why are you gonna have to choose a side, bro? 
If she don't choose a side, it's just gonna ruin, ruin things. You were right, Kate. Powder's gone. I can do this myself. No one else needs to get hurt. My arrogance led me to take on more than I could handle, and she paid the price for sending all the enforcers after Jinx. I'm going with them. She made her an enforcer? She gave her a badge. As one of us. Kate, I can't wear this. You can show that not all of Zorn supports Jinx. We can show them. Together. That's not her though. Yeah. Yeah, she can't do that. I thought you were on our side. I knew it. You didn't think at all. That's hard though, cause as Vi, that's still, I mean, as, yeah, Vi, that's still your sister in a way. Still your sister and then everything that happened before this still happening. The stuff with her parents, but then again, it's like, bro, Jinx is the cause of a lot of this. Hey, watch it. Uh, Batista. You, uh, lose someone in the attack? Shit, my sister did the attack, girl. Can't even say that. Niggas be like, yo, what? I'm getting it on with you now. How is he? Same as before. Breathing. Beyond that. Yo. Your guess is as good as mine. What the f Bro, he's literally that thing, bro. You see it? The yeah. attack way too close. The hex core has been evolving shifting through runic patterns faster than i can keep up but for what though it's gonna take over his body bro it should be me up there instead of him he'll come back to us he was right next to me how does the explosion do that to him and i just i just walk out without a scratch there's no sense to these things jace my mother's entered the game has already gotten her hooks into salo using his grief to make a play for hextech he didn't know. Taking notes. I use my phone. Never again. It's all right. I handled it. I won't let them corrupt your dream. They're gonna have to use it sooner or later. Caitlin was there. He might pay her a visit. She hides it admirably, but the poor girl's in so much pain. A woman shows her loyalty when you down. Man shows his loyalty when he up. Man came up, forgot all about Caitlin and shit. I want to say he forgot about her. They just been on their own thing. Like she was doing her detective work. The demon. All demons. Hey, Sprout. I'm sorry I haven't been around. How's Victor? I can't even tell if he's still in there. Three faces keep spinning through my mind. I see Mother. When they found her. But then there's Jinx. Laugh. I want to tear that laugh from her throat forever. Kate. Then I see Vi. I asked her to put on a uniform. Suffice to say, she declined. You might have to repair them drawings for Hextech may keep us alive, Jace. But it's not what will save us. Why well, put them drawings in her hand, literally? Join the peanut patrol. <laughs> and they I thought she had no sense of No cat, they drunk all that. <sighs> Like peanuts. I'm the one who created the monster. Who are you? How do you know my name? Junior Officer Nolan. Maddie. It's written on your face. Literally. Ah, uh, you're something of a legend amongst the enforcers. Caitlin made quite a scene at the station when they tried to deny your enlistment. You went after Silco alone when the council wouldn't back you. Took on his whole gang. Oh, yeah, he listened to that real quick. If every enforcer had a heart like yours, we could take on Noxus itself. And then she threatened to withdraw her family's funding. I'm glad you're joining up. After the sheriff betrayed us. We need somebody to fill them shoes, bitch. We're not having it, though. We're right down Maddie. Everything. Officer Maddie Nolan. Is she gonna be um a big character this season, I think? We're acting like he's sleep. He's the finesse. Smart man can play dumb, but dumb man can't play smart. You heard? She brought him with him. You seen her? 
She looked disgusted when she walked by. Joined together not by birth or dictum, but by all that we share. Our hope. Some shit about the blow up. Yeah, I think something's about to happen. Propulsion to leave behind us a world better than that before. She go behind These Jace. things we share are what make us one people. Wanku. No cap. <laughs> Something is about to happen. Councillor Arius Borbeck, Councillor Tormin Hoskell, and Councillor Cassandra Kiriman were taken from us. Damn, something about to happen again? Is that a bomb about to just leave? Say something. It's behind Jace, I told you. Yeah. Should have had her badge. Awful, isn't it? It's fucking Jinx. Is that Jinx? No way. That's the lady, the, the son that died? That's that's her. No way. Oh! Oh, shit! The mom's about to save her. She got two or three chainsaws, right? Bro, it's really an all-out war now. Oh my god, they got, got the that shit. Yeah, the shimmer. They gotta use the hex tech. That's the way now. Ooh. Damn, Bro, it's she need over. them shits. Yeah, he gotta repair the gaunt. Nah, she's actually big as fuck. Ooh, ooh. Not the front out. <laughs> Tweaking her out. What is that? She definitely did lose her son to them two, though. The boy killed her son. Damn. Damn, so fast. Yo, she's really crazy with her. Let's go, Maddie. Oh! We started it off like damn. They have been moving so fast you can't even see. Ooh. He's finished. And, it, and what's crazy is that they just now was like Caitlyn said it was one person that did it. Now it's showing that the whole Undercity is kind of involved in trying to take over the top. Uh, Piltover. Sure you opt for her. No cat. No way she in hills. Not the she... crazy in the hills. Nah. <laughs> She's Not dangerous. Flats. That's that big, big one. No! Oh! Boy, it's panicking. Like, do some. You'd be scared too, so you can Nah, he can't move after that. That's that old boy that be doing the patrol. She going in that uh, hex tech room. Yeah. Yeah, my boy, get involved. He, he gonna die. The, yeah, he got the die. That's what I was with Vi. Yeah, he's that strong, bro. To me, he's like Vander. No cap, he really do, though. For my son. <laughs> Push your lights out. Yeah, she's dead. Yo, with the hammer. That's Thor's hammer. How the fuck she know where that goddamn room was, though? They surround it. They ready to all get it on now. So I'd like to see. Oh, 
shit cracked me. Oh, Jace? Okay. Come on, bro. Tell her what to do. Oh, fast he's swinging that shit too. You see that. Who threw that shit? No, Echo. Echo. Yeah, Echo and them came up there. Oh, unless it was the mother and the other bull. Yup. Came and finished him off just in time. Didn't even need to use the hex tech. That boy got a sh straight scruff. No weakness. Damn. Just like that. Like how I did this first episode. Yeah. He got that mask on. The mask off, Mr. Miyagi. Gonna the security. We'll see. Nah, they strong shit. Yeah, the females in this show are ah, diesel. I swear. Thought for sure you were gonna get yourself killed. A memorial. What kind of animals? All right, they're trying to scare you. All they did is pissed me off. Down there, you'll be on their terms. None of this is on our terms. She dies and leaves this giant hole, and I'm just supposed to fill it. The hole gets smaller, but you never fill it. Yeah, she know firsthand, Vander and fucking Jean. But her parents dying. She had to be a parent at a young age. If I go after your sister alone, one of us comes back in a box. It's all coming apart. No, it isn't. We won't let it. Yeah, bye. she gonna put that badge on. She got no choice. If Jinx see that, it's no going back. Demon. Okay. I thought she seen one before. Yeah, she see Wait, that. I know you doubt the merit of your birthright. Just low key, Silco was kind of keeping her There's in the box a little bit. But he dead now. That's what I'm saying. So with him being dead and her putting on that, nah. Damn, so her family was involved in everything. Does anyone still doubt that our enemy is greater than one deranged individual? Like I was saying before. I thought we took every measure to secure it. They must have had help from someone up here. Don't say bye. We we aren't prepared for a full-scale invasion. The Undercity's attack proved that. Leader of House Kiriman, address me with respect or keep your mouth shut. I like that. Yeah, she liked that too. Locate Jinx, dismantle Shimmer, and neutralize any agents still loyal to Silco. We've got a few surprises of our own. What the tech weapons. Nah, it's over. A Vi walk out. You fix the <laughs> It's over. And she got the badge on. Nah, they nah. look tough. <laughs> I mean, they yeah, went to work. The victor, though. I need to know where open his eyes. What side, what side is he gonna choose? Wake up. They always do that shit. Yeah, no cat. I thought it was, I thought his eyes was about to open. This guy. No way they got fucking creature. Dire Wolf? They about to use them Jones. Put some shimmer in them Jones. All right, yeah, that was the end of episode one right there. Arcane season two, and they started this genre off with a big bang. They got the Nation of Zon actually carrying out. I don't want to quote. Yeah, that's a, that was a terrorist attack right there, but attacks on Piltover on their land basically. So this means that it's full out war. They have the backing of Moderna's mother also on their side, so. That gives them a little upper hand, but then again, we still don't know the full power of the Undercity if they if they band together. We know Echo and um, Heimerdinger would definitely help 
yeah i think they'll definitely help piltover especially with vibe being a part of the enforcers now but we still don't know how powerful silco's um you know army is even though you know he's not he's not there he's not running things anymore we obviously see that people are ready to step up and you know put a full-on attack on piltover so it's gonna be a lot of things to go down a lot of people are gonna probably pass away man um we, we had some you know some close calls already in episode one so i'm just ready to see how you know caitlin fares with being basically the head of these operations with the three objectives and if you know she can possibly if she can actually you know get all three of these done she seems like a completely a completely different person now with no remorse so the next time she does see jinx it's definitely gonna be a full-on fight but then again we haven't seen jinx yet and we don't know what she's doing down there so you know she's fully jinx now so i think she's definitely gonna have some some tricks up her sleeve and ready to you know cause some damage but a great first episode there's a lot that they do at us with like the recap and get refreshed with like all the characters and stuff for this episode makes sense that Vi went with Caitlyn on what they're going to do. In a way, she doesn't have anybody to go back to if she was to pick like Jinx's side. I don't think Jinx would want her to come back anyway from how things ended the last episode. I feel like Jinx made the choice for her in a way. I want to see what or who is still around Jinx um, and if the people that was with Silco are going to fall behind Jinx or like if they're going to work together. I feel like Jinx right now is on like a solo mission, just kind of or basically the same way that Vi was trying to go or like solo rogue mission is what they called it. But like it'd be smart for her to stay with Caitlyn and them to band together and do what they have to do to kind of flush Jinx and the Undercity out so they can. I don't know how they're going to do it because at the same time, there's so many other people in the Undercity. Um, and then I don't know how the war is going to play out with them if they do take it uh, to the upside or even if they go down um, the fuck they call it the undercity huh the undercity yeah if they go to the undercity like Vi said they're on their terms so I feel like a lot of the people within that group are going to die from going down there um, and not really knowing the uh, uh, terrain and stuff too. So, if you enjoyed the reaction, make sure to like the video, comment down below, send your thoughts on it, subscribe on the bell, comment down below, follow each other's videos. We appreciate y'all. Stay tuned. We're going to be bringing out a lot more arcane and stuff. But until the next video, the kids reacted.